How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be working on a uh, bathtub and uh, I want to turn it into a shower instead of a, like taking a bath. I'd rather take a shower than take a bath. So what we're going to do is um, I've had this off once and I got some measurements on some pipes and stuff and we're going to see if we can turn this thing into a, a half decent shower instead of just a bathtub. Because you could always use the shower to fill the bathtub, but if you see this one doesn't have anything down on the bottom to run the tub. This is what runs your tub. So, but there's no place for a shower. And in this, uh, this is one of them tubs. You can see how it is there. It's like a claw foot or something they call them. Uh, pretty nice tub, but rather take a shower than take a bath. So we're going to see what we can do with this guy here turn into a shower so like I said I've already had this apart so we're gonna go ahead and just take this apart here and uh, we're gonna eliminate this piece here all together this piece here so the only thing I had to do was match something up for these threads here uh, to go to a shower and we're gonna go through this uh, as I put it together we do want to keep this piece here now because we're going to need this piece here. So we're going to screw this piece back on. Now that just has a plastic seal in it. This is the little piece that I come up with. Now this will unscrew here. So this is a separate piece from this. This has 3 8 threads in it, half inch threads outside. So this will screw right into this piece right here so we're going to go ahead and get some pipe tape on this and get it put on there i wasn't going to do a video on this but i thought it was kind of interesting to be able to take the shower or the bathtub and turn it into a shower and we're just putting teflon tape on these you're going to turn it to the right the same way that you would tighten it is the way you want to put it on. Then when we put it down into here, we're going to turn it all the same to the right. And then we're going to go ahead and get this guy all tightened up. Now this has a little plastic overing down in it. I think it'll be fine. Then we're going to snug this piece here on the top. I know this is not going to look as pretty as if I had the original one, but these faucets right here cost $400. This little set of faucets right here is $400. And I'm not going to buy that uh, piece. We're just going to fix it the best that we can. And hopefully this will work out perfect for us. Here's what we got uh, to see if we can get it to mount right on the top of this. So we can have a shower handle so you can take a shower. We want to be able to take a shower instead of a bath. So this is what it is. It's got a few different settings on it. It's a hand shower. That's what it's, who it's made by. So what I did is I picked up a little shut off and if you guys don't have a shut off on your shower you should always have a shut off on there because you waste so much water when you're trying to soap up you're just washing the soap off you and I don't know how you do it without a shut off but you wet yourself down you turn the water off soap yourself up turn the water back on rinse off seems like you save a lot of water I bought that extra so I can mount it on the handle so you can reach it and it just takes a little o-ring we'll slide it down well, this one has one in it so we're good there we're just going to go ahead and screw this thing right on the end of here okay now we're just going to take our hose and we're going to go ahead and put our o-ring inside of this hose and we're going to screw it down on this guy right here I don't think you'll need Teflon tape. I mean, if we see it's leaking a little bit, we'll throw some Teflon tape on it. But right now, we're just going to screw it down on. It's sort of like a water hose hookup. And sometimes, if you make them too tight, they'll leak. 
So now we're going to get our hose. We're going to do the same thing. We have another O-ring. We're going to put our little O-ring down in here. And then we're going to screw our top piece on here. So now we have a six foot hose here that we could use to take a shower with or fill the tub up with. So let's try it and see if we get wet. We got a shower. And I think I do see a leak. I got a leak right here. So we're gonna turn it back on. Let me make sure I know where a leak's coming from. It's coming from up here in the top. So we'll shut this back off and we're going to pull this off of here. Right in here, we got a little bit of a leak. That o ring that's in there, it's like a water hose o ring. It's not really thick, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some thread tape and put it on this piece here and see if we can get it to stop leaking. That's right on that end of that head right there. All right, with a little bit of thread tape, we got her fixed. Now we have a shower. We can change the uh, flow of the shower. Works pretty good. I think we'll be happy with that. So, we just turned a bathtub, just from just a bathtub to a shower and a bathtub. So right now you could sit down in here and take a shower if you wanted, but we're actually going to build a top for this thing so we can have a, a shower curtain around and be able to stand up and take a shower too. So that'll be the next video you see will be this uh, building a shower curtain for this thing. We priced them online. They're very expensive, but I figured, well, I like to fabricate things, so I'm going to build one. So this was a pretty simple project, just to let you know that if your tub is just a bathtub, we can make a shower out of it too. So I would like to tell everybody thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment if you'd like. Till next time. Works good. I like it. I think it'll be fine.